This demonstration will show how to use the Fitel Splice-On 3mm connectors using the S122 Fusion Splicer. You will see how easy it is to provide reliable terminations in the field. The first step in the process is to take the 3mm cordage and slide it into the connector piece parts while they're installed in the plastic container. Next, remove these pieces from the plastic package. Next, remove the 3mm cordage using the 3 hole stripper. Next, fold the Kevlar away from the cordage and trim as shown. The Kevlar will be used later in the process to provide strain relief for the connector assembly. Now with the connector assembly tool, place a slit in the cordage as shown. On the side of the connector tool, there is a cut guide for easy reference. Now remove the splice protection sleeve from the package and place it over the 900 micron fiber. Divide the Kevlar fiber that was trimmed in the previous step so that 50% is on one side of the 3 mm cordage and 50% is on the other. Move the splicing cover down so that it is covered by the 3 mm cordage. Then place the 3 mm cordage with protection sleeve in place into the cordage holder. Now using the three hole stripper remove first the 900 micron coating then remove the 250 micron coating exposing the bare fiber. Next clean the fiber to remove all of the residue left from the 250 micron coating. Now place the holder in the Fitel S325 one action cleaver then lower the lid, press the button, and the cleaving action is complete. Next, remove the holder and place it into the S122 Fusion Splicer. Now the field fiber is ready for splicing. From the plastic package, remove the factory polished ferrule, which is attached to the transportation tool. Load the ferrule in the transportation tool into the ferrule holder. Now place the ferrule holder in the S122 splicing chamber. Close the lid and press the green button to start the automated process. During this process you will see the fiber is perfectly aligned followed by the discharge which creates the fusion splice. Following the splice, alignment cameras inside of the S122 will indicate the resultant loss of this splice. In this case, the loss is 0 0.05 dB. Now remove the furl and the 3 mm field fiber from the holders. Move the protective heat shrink splice cover over the splice, then center the heat shrink cover in the middle of the heat shrink oven as shown. Now close the lid and press the yellow button to start the heat shrink process. The S122 will provide the appropriate feedback at the end of the heat shrink cycle. At the conclusion of the cycle, the protective splice cover with its steel reinforcing rod is now permanently in place. Next. Remove the inner housing from the plastic parts tray. Next slide the components on the 3 mm jacket into position as shown. Then remove the transportation tool from the factory polished ferrule. Now place the inner housing over the ferrule into the proper position. 
Then using the connector assembly tool, snap the inner housing in place onto the stop ring. Now move the Kevlar away from the 3 mm cordage, as shown here. Then slide the crimp ring up the 3 mm cordage and over the Kevlar, securing it to the main connector body. Now this is important because it provides the primary strain relief required to make GR-326. Next with the crimp tool, Using the .019 round die, crimp this ring. Next, remove the cordage from the crimp sleeve, which will allow a second crimp to further enhance the strain relief. Slide the last crimp ring into position for the second crimp securing the cordage. Now with the crimp tool using the .178 hex slot, perform the final crimp. Now move the boot into position, sliding it over the crimp sleeves and into the connector body. Now returning to the plastic tray, remove the outer housing and place it over the inner housing where it will firmly snap into place with a distinctive click. The completed splice-on connector results in a rugged assembly that is GR-326 compliant. This now completes the 3 mm splice-on connector using the S122 Fusion Splicer. In the previous demonstration, you saw how easy it was to install 3 mm splice-on connectors using the Fitel S122 Fusion Splicing System. In this process, we used the Fitel S122 Fusion Splicer, the Fitel 325 Single Action Cleaver, the Connector Assembly Tool, the 3 mm splice-on connector kit, the cordage holder, the ferrule holder, the three-hole stripper, and the crimping tool.